Okay, um, my name is Tanya Garcia. I am the winner of the Denture Maker. Yeah, and this is my story. I don't smile. Uh, as I, I have to, I, I'm very aware of that people, that's the first impression, you know, that you get from somebody is when they smile and I don't, not even in pictures or anything. So it's like, and if I do, it'll be like not a non-teeth smile. Like, the goal that I have with uh, actually being able to smile is becoming more social and uh, being able to, I guess interact and hopefully in my job being able to interact because it's a lot about networking to move up and unfortunately I'm not able to do that because I'm not comfortable again talking to people because yeah. I'm afraid that they're looking at my team. Well, uh, watch a lot of YouTube videos, you know, where people lose their teeth till they can get to the dentist. Not for me, it was a permanent solution. <laughs> Not so much the attempt till you get to the dentist, but uh, you just order these little plastic pellets, basically, is what they are. And then I got real good at looking at pictures of teeth and trying to shape them to, you know, so my teeth look like they were normal. <laughs> God, it, honestly, it seemed like forever just because um, I would do holistic things like I would do clove oil, you know, that numbs the nerve, uh, numbs the gum, uh, neosporin, uh, buy in bulk, um, or I would do just mouthwash till all my mouth was numb. You know, and sometimes, to be honest, I would uh, do uh, alcohol instead of just a mouthwash. Just because I it burns, yes, but after that you feel like okay it's a little better. I don't have to do it. And it, it the pain was always there in like in the dull background but I got used to it. It's just something I learned to live with. So like after the infection was cleared up I I finally learned what it's like to not have to deal with pain like uh, in the morning having to go to that routine like okay do I have to lance this and then do my mouthwash do I gotta apply my clove oil like my routine has literally changed to just I guess what I would consider not normal just brushing your your teeth versus like I had to go through I had a little box of medicinal remedies to deal with the pain that it was that I had been dealing with since I guess since my early teens. Okay, well, uh, the things that kept me from addressing it it was financial, of course, but uh, I had gone to doctors to to dentists to you know it's like oh, you know it's like I'm being missing teeth here and it's so that where they make me feel like oh how did you let it get this bad so it's like nobody wants to be judged it's like yes i know it's bad but i'm coming to you for help and you just made me feel bad that i asked for help so why ask for it so it's like that's kind of again another cycle that I was I think it's changed my perspective of taking care of myself, not just my teeth, but my appearance, you know, my, I was like, I don't know if you saw in the video before, but mm, Tony had a ponytail because she wasn't doing anything with her hair. Now I got a haircut, you know, I'm putting it together, <laughs> things like that. And so it does, it's, I, I guess I didn't realize that um, how much it, it did affect me. It's just something I lived with. And now it's like, it opens up a world of possibilities that I'm like, wow, I'm able to, you know, put myself together and out there. It, and I guess it, I feel happier. It's like before I was kind of very pessimistic, like, okay, whatever. Like, and it came off as a loop and not caring. And now it's like, 
Hey, look, this is the real me. <laughs> she was in the box in the corner, <laughs> hidden by bad teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that. Well, yeah, some of, uh, some, the good example of how this has changed me is, again, like I said, I wasn't going out for any, you know, things that would make my life better, such as I am a, I applied for a new position, and, uh, you know, I have I had my interview, uh, and they've accepted me into the position, and we start in July, which gives me a little bump in pay, which is always good. But now it's like, I'm not afraid to go for opportunities as I was before. Like I feel, like before I'm like, there's no point. There's no point. And now it's like, the world's my oyster and let's see what, let's see what trouble I can get into. <laughs> I guess what I would share that as uh, you were going through, you know, the pain and the embarrassment of the teeth is, uh, first of all, there you're not gonna be judged. Uh, so we're gonna take you. We're just gonna go somewhere that is going to help you, because right now you're stuck in a place like I was. I guess you're stuck in a place where I guess you just give up. You're just like this is where I'm, this is my lane. This is where I belong. But with this opportunity of just getting your teeth fixed, even the smallest, it it changes your perspective in every aspect of your life. Like you will realize how held back you were, but now you will have the opportunity to uh, like socialize, go out and talk to people. Uh, trust me, career-wise, you're. You know, as my friend, I know you're cool, so you, uh, so I, you know, people will realize how great you are, and it's like not just you know people at work, but in social situations. I'm like, I'm like my my sister would say I, I was kind of standoffish, but it was just that you know I'm not comfortable. So if you're not comfortable, it honestly just radiates from you.